from what I saw from what Grinding posted, it pops up on any shot. So if that's the case, mm-hmm. legend, legend, shifty shooter, just it's like it's like breaking a shot creator at that point. I, I got like a fade off, or like that set, gotta, that set uh, specialist thing too. That that, that, that shooter that's maybe, but I mean, shooter but is. shifty shooter, you're gonna like as a guard. That's what I'm saying, as a guard, because you're gonna be dribbling the ball a lot and lightning lunch because we don't know the extent of how far it is from Hall of Fame. Now, if it's just a brick, a bigger gap, well, that lockdown that only has gold clamps for whatever reason they may have it but i'm just saying if you got gold clamps i got legend lightning launch there's no chance you keeping up with me after my first two moves you see what i'm saying like stuff like that yeah but i feel like most of those badges in, in that regard like i don't feel like it's just gonna be that big of a difference so so let me say something real quick i disagree with you simply because of the fact that they took out so many badges and combined a lot of badges into one. So just because of the simple fact of that, I feel like in previous two Ks, I would agree with you. But the way that the the badge system works, were like they took, I mean, I, can, I don't have any on top of my head, but they they would take like two badges that you had last year separated, like they put it into one this year. So just just based off of that, I think a lot more legend badges are actually going to be viable off of just of, off of just simply that. Like that, that's all I got. For it. I respect that. There's gonna be some there's gonna be some people in this chat that we cannot hear for some reason. That's just how that's just the problem with the uh, Twitter spaces. We're in a Twitter space right now with iPod, King Carter. The topic is bump steals, and that's what we're talking, just bump steals and a whole lot of other things. Now, someone might chime in and cut me off in a second. But I cannot hear whoever the speaker is at the moment. So that that just may be the problem. I'm not sure if anyone is even speaking at this time. So you, you might have to if you can hear me, you might have to drop out and uh, I probably might have to bring you back up. Yeah, that see, that's the that's the issue. I can't hear whoever that is. They're going to have to drop out and come back up. But um, I mean. As far as the bump so, steal so situation, real quick, real quick, you, can't Marty, you can't hear. Uh, you can't hear iPod. iPod. You, so might you might have, have to drop, drop out and come back. Yeah, you might have to because the hosts can't hear you, so you might have to drop out and come back. I might have to drop and come back too. All right, you'll bring. And they used to test. When a badge triggers, how fast, like, let's say, say for instance, lightning launch, right? That's probably going to be one of the first three badges they test for this new game. They're going to test bronze, silver, gold, Hall of Fame, and legend because they're going to equip those badges on certain players and see how fast they move from the height of maybe 6'1 all the way up to Giannis. They're going to figure out how fast, how how quick. Uh, how many milliseconds it will take for that move to trigger, how fast you can get from point A to point B. They're going to test all that shit. But what I'm saying to y'all is 2K knows that since 2K Labs is going to do that, that they don't have to do the hard work. They don't have to tell us that stuff. But we have to wait Uh. for it, which means if you're going to make a build and you know for a fact that like you're not going to use this build for a long time, I'm just here to say, please don't invest a shit ton of VC into your building that you got to do a remake because it, it kind of breaks my heart that we you know we always got to spend all this money on, on the game after it come out. So like, if you are going to be somebody that hunts for legend badges later, like I just say, it's, it's like, oh, I can't be caught with it without it. Oh yeah, the it's, situation it's, getting it's sticky. In the and I don't know, know if it's just me, but I find your, your mic's been the last six years. Yeah, your mic is messing up, Pop. Uh, yeah, every time, yeah, every time I jump in. Yeah, hey, I lose. I can't, I can't hear Carter no more every time I jump in and he puts me up here. No, we, uh, what we were what we were saying was your mic was like glitching out. That's all it was. These Twitter spaces got to be fixed, bro. Marty, can you hear me? No, we, uh, what we were what we were saying was your mic was like glitching out. That's all it was. 
They got to fix these Twitter spaces, bro. You should be good now, Pop. Oh, no, I, I think can't I know what the, what the hell. Yeah, I can't hear iPod. I think that might just be like his his connection or whatever. No, no I think that's the space. Bro. I know what it is. I'm dead on my phone and on the on the PC at the same time. <laughs> like I swear to God, I swear to God, like I, I'm, I can't make this shit. Up. Be true. Like y'all. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot going on. Can I hear anybody? Yeah. I- yeah, I can, I can hear Pop good, now. Pop speaking, bro. Go ahead, Pop. Go ahead, Pop. Damn, I got a leak. So I can't hear this nigga. Elon, fix your app. Drop out and come back, Marty, because yeah. everybody if, if you, can hear him. If anybody you. can't hear iPod, just All drop right. out. He'll bring you right back up. Or somebody else tell them drop out. Drop out and come back, Marty, because yeah. everybody if, if can you, hear him. But if you. anybody can't hear iPod, I'm, just drop I'm out. Back. He'll bring you right back up. Like, you got to leave the space and come yeah, back. Yeah, like, leave, yeah. Like, close out the space, press the leave button, and then come back in. Here. Go ahead, iPod. You good. All right, but yeah, Um. so, like I was saying... Is is really on 2K. 2K never has done this nah, before, but they've right. never given us a, a percentage of you know how effective the badge makes you. Um, even with this takeover thing, these new takeover abilities, these new levels, they are now giving us the attribute um, points given to us per level. This is all something new. So like, I feel like 2K just needs to get into the business of telling us what's the best way, like for instance, right? You know how like Mike Wayne will tweet out, "Yo, if you don't use a meter, you'll get a certain mm-hmm. boost the percentage to your green window." Like, bro, tell us the percentage. Right. Don't let two K. They went back and they tested the no meter. They they brought back the the you know they did the test again for no meter versus a meter, and they realized like there was at that point there was no boost. Yeah, we always been over here, you bought. But see, the thing with that, like, I, I feel like with, with certain badges, part, like, even, this is going to sound bad, but 2K Lab is only really used by a certain percentage of players where I feel like if 2K tried to implement what would be the differential between each badge level as opposed to the other badges, it may be sensory overload to the user. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know, but like lightning launch. All right, from gold to legend, 2K Lab may say, well, there's a, a 0.34 second, 0.34 millisecond difference between those badges. Well, that's a huge gap. There's a, a 0.34 second 0.34 millisecond difference between those badges where that's a huge gap. If you, if 2k puts that in the, the builder where like this badge is different from this badge in that way, that may be sensory overload for, you know what I mean? Like a 12 year old making a build and not knowing, okay, well it's going to be a 15 percentage of my green window going, that's good in this regard. But then another badge is like, well, you get a 50 millisecond boost to this or that. They like, well, huh? Well, what is what is you know what I mean? So maybe it's it's that, right. but you know, I could be wrong too. I mean, um, we like this is the one thing that I could always say, right? We all nerd up nerd out about stats, right? So like if somebody knows that Michael Jordan shot 63% somewhere for one time in his life or whatever the case may be, they'll hone on that. So it's not hard for people that like follow the game of basketball to understand statistics, attributes, and stuff like that. Because when we say, yo, LeBron has averaged a 93 dunk rating for his entire career of 20 years, and then somebody will say, well, well, was it ever 99? And then they'll figure out, like, oh, well, it was 99 this year. Okay, cool. So, like, it's really, like, 2K could give us these numbers. It wouldn't hurt the game. 
Because we already have to make builds with attribute points. Right. You know what I'm saying? We already have to be min-maxing our builds to get the best package. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what it's, you want to go gold. Back. What's up? I think, like, and I've been listening to both point of views. What I think it help is, I get you saying it's information overload to, like, the average 12-year-old, but I'm going to be honest, bro. The lowest I done played with in 2K online is probably, like, 15 to 14. I haven't played with that young of people. That might be, like, in the Fortnite community or something, but in 2K, people not playing the game are quite that young and playing it in the sense of trying to be good. They just quit and go offline, you know what I'm saying? But listen, the Thanks. idea is, you know how, in, like, the 2K, I guess, you, what is it called? Help? The 2K help factor? They need yeah, to like add Yeah, like a 2KU? Listen, they own by the same company. They own GT. I keep saying they parent company. They high five them. They can hire 2K Labs to do voiceovers and side-by-side -side clips of each badges, small in like a little window when you click the badge or some type. Of, you know, they can do that inside the builder. That would save people money. But they got to find a way to implement something like that. That probably meet in the middle of what you guys are saying. It's not really such an overload because they do it in 2KU anyway. But maybe even in 2K, you hire the people that do the, the, the 2K labs, and then they can say, well, if you pitch your badge on this, and then it's a millisecond and show you the difference and stuff, I feel like that'll help. But I feel like it has to be inside of the game. It can't be found through a media source like Twitter or, or even a website because the average 12-year-old, 10-year-old, 9-year-old don't have access to it. But if it's already inside the game like 2KU, then possibly they'll go there and they'll save people money and time. I feel like that's a, a way to meet in the middle. That's where the that's where the community comes in, man. We, I feel like two K. They're so worried about uh, what is it, microtransactions that they don't listen to the consumer. Like we we have ideas as a whole, as a collective, on what will make your game better. They just don't listen, but they bring them out to two K Day, Community Day for for the marketing purposes. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I hear I hear you out. Um, um, I definitely like for me, right? Somebody who went to some of the first community days, I've always felt that community days just aren't enough time with the game. So they don't label us as game testers, right? Um, I've worked with many companies on many different games, and I've been flown out for almost sometimes weeks at a time to help dev a game. So, like, I know what the dev process is like, and I know what community day is like. Community day is in no shape or form dev testing. No, you're not doing any dev work. What it is is they bring you out, they fly you out, they probably have everybody's uh, content being recorded on uh, hard drives and stuff like that that you have available after you leave if you weren't creating separate content. And they look through all of that playtest content and see what happened, what worked, what they noticed, see if they can tweak anything before release. Because, again, the, the, the version that they played on is not the complete game. It's probably some type of alpha or beta that's built for that event only. Yeah, that, that's, so that like brings me back to what I said. I don't mean to cut you off, iPod. That brings me back to what I yeah. said about the builder. Um, I don't believe, and I think this was actually said, I don't believe the builder is complete yet. Um, so we can lab, uh, or, or watch, you know, our, our favorite YouTuber, our favorite content creators lab the builder, but it's not complete yet. Just like that little glitch we spoke about earlier with the strength on the six, three, and it's not complete. That could just be a glitch. Yeah. I don't remember the six. Right, yeah. I don't remember the power forwards from 2K21 next year and how the builder was broke because of that. I feel like this is going to be another year where they done added too many things. Boy, there's gonna be some godly build makers out there. That's six eight, Makes boy. That's six eight ISO build. build. I don't already. I went it. too much. I went too much sneak and deek and talk about uh, anybody that used tall guards, but uh, got a little excited about that. <laughs> um, the crazy thing is, like, um, you know, we've been having like a lot of like bumping of the heads between Sim Nation. I'm using quotation marks right now. Sim Nation and the comp community, right? Um, a lot of people don't understand that there are some players within Sim Nation that are cheesy, just as cheesy as cheesy players that are in the comp scene. True. So, like, when we look at builds, like, any build that goes against the normalcy of how a certain demographic wants to play the game of 2K, there's always going to be blowback, right? So, for instance, like, 
you'll see a sim nation player say oh i went in stage or i went in the comp pro am and i did good and we beat a bunch of teams that's because they're coming in from the nba standpoint they're coming in saying the 6 8 point guard is normal because there are 6 8 point guards that play the game of basketball but right, the comp right. community will say well we don't like builds over 6 3 at the point guard position that's not meta so like there's always clashing when it comes to that shit. So like my my thing is it's like, bro, we're always gonna have differences of opinions. We're always gonna have different bills come out and outshine other bills. Certain bills are gonna become meta because online will get a hold of them. Social media, you'll see a TikTok with viral views and be like, no, that bill gotta be crazy. Like that's just the way of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't stop those things. You know what I'm saying? But I I always say to myself is like you know, being a person who played 2K for so long, like some of these numbers that I hear people say they've spent on a game in one year is insane because I don't think I've ever spent no more than 300 to $400 in one year on 2K. And that's, that, that, that sounds release. insane to me, but I did it for content purposes where I had to make multiple bills. I tried them out, made content with them, but I've seen people spend hella money on my team hella money on different bills because they wasn't working out. They might have went to the park, got dropped off by somebody, copied their whole bill when it's, once they got off the dots. Like, these these are things that just happen. Like, this ain't no, like, like oh, my God, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't live without this bill. It's like, no, I want to get better. I want to be competitive. And people use that as a way to justify spending another hundred. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's always going to be those type of things, man. It's just, just the way of the game, bro. Tough. I know I've spent. I mean, I will say when it comes down to it, how I feel about 2K. Um, microtransaction part of me, like, because I remember when 2K14 and 13 introduced the bad system and they had the finisher logo. I remember the start of all this before when you could just boost your, when you had, uh, what was it called? The my career points. You had the my career points. You ain't even, because I used to, you know, I, I probably, you know, we go way back, really, bro. My name's BGD, so nice. So you kind of like know. I know the old, old 2K without spending money and having fun. And then I know the newer way because mm-hmm. I've been around since then. So when I look at it, I'm about like you. Like, I feel like 100 after paying $160, $50, whatever the case may be now, on the game, I feel like paying another 150 or $200 is insane. I think anything over 150 after paying 150 is crazy because you just spent 300 So me personally, I try to make a good bill within my first two bills. If I have to make one because of Pro-Am, I will. But then I kind of get the team to, like, we all come to agreement that I'm investing in that. But 2K has changed a lot. Michael Chan's actually changed the game forever. And some of the things you name is just always going to happen because it's a part of the system. It's just like any other game. Look at Fortnite. Look at Kai. They all imp- implement microtransactions, and the game go from being – it be fun, but it's like now you kind of pressurize to be good because now it's pay to win. But, I mean, every game is leaning towards that. True. Nah, that's 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 real rap. Like I, I feel like the the biggest issue that we all have with, you know, two K is that when we spend a hundred dollars, that hundred dollars is not I guess refundable when a massive change happens to the game. For instance, when they nerf a certain build or something like that and that build is now not viable anymore like 2k doesn't do a mass refund or credit anyone's account who may have that bill created up to a certain overall like for instance what if the threshold was if we created a build and they decided to like you know tune steals or something like that and we came out with 99 you know uh, right stick ripper type builds and we get it to like maybe a 92 overall we should qualify for a refund if they're going to touch something that they deem doesn't work well because every time we make a bill we have to spend money and the only reason that i see we have to spend money is because everyone is taking an easy way out nobody is going in my career going the game on and game and getting insane plucks and steals and blocks and all that to build these builds up. Everyone wants to play on now. Nobody feels like my career is over their time. 
So like that's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like we pay money for these builds. Like it's crazy that 2K doesn't come out with some type of you know stimulus package and game for everybody that may have that build. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just it, it, it hurts a little bit. Like and and it's not even a pride thing. It's like yo, any any time that you look at any video game that's long, whether it's free to play or it has microtransaction. Whenever there's any issue with that game, a compensation pack is sent out. So, like, for instance, right, I play a mobile game on my phone. Whenever there, the server has to go on maintenance for whatever reason or um, some new content that came out with don't work or some, some type of officer or ship or something like that is broken, they send out comp packages to the entire community, the entire server. Anytime something is wrong, anytime something that happened that they did, any change that they made, they send out a comp package. Why not be able to just, it's virtual currency, send everybody 100K for their troubles. That's not hard. That's a press of a button, really. You know what I'm saying? You check, you check all the activity. People say, yo, who created this build? All right. We have 72% of these builds that were created are only 60 overalls. Uh, 17% of them are 80s. Uh, the other freaking whatever percentage is all 92 and up. All right. Send a, send a crazy con package out to them. And whoever made the 60 overall build or whatever the case may be, they just don't happen to get anything because they didn't do anything with the build. They didn't put, you can tell that they didn't put no money into it. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's dope. But, you know, it's, sometimes, you know, it's, it's hard to I get a couple like of do things like that because, hold on, say that again. I said, say I'm listening again? to what you're saying, to pick it back up what you're saying. I feel like that would have to do with, like, Sony and Microsoft too, because it's part of their system. Like you gotta understand, it's two K, but then Sony and Microsoft will have to pull the plug on it too. We're giving refunds like that as well. But I probably just talk about like cash. Talking about VC, like that. They if they want to give out VC, they can just do it themselves. I mean, yeah, they could give out VC, but when I I had lost my players one year, I think it was two thousand. I think it was twenty two. When I lost my players, they gave me four players back and like. 50,000 VC and some boost. They did that one time. But I feel like a lot of people will finesse their system, though, and then everybody would like, I mean, it's, it's not hard to keep track of that, but at the same time, you know how many people in the world would do that or, or expect that? Yeah, but what, he, but what he was saying was it would only go out to the people who put – it's a certain situation – where those individuals that whatever percent, you know, uh, participated in what they recalled would get, you know, the stimulus or whatever you want to call it. But they would have to have like a, a care a package. Yeah. For everything, everything's on the cloud. Everything's on the cloud now. Yo, Paul, you sounded kind of crazy again, bro. I'm not going to lie. I can't, I can't, I can't understand you, bro. I don't know if it's yeah, let me you turn might be on your PC again. No, but check it, check it out though. Before you, before you, before you right. back, I you was saying me? like it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, we yeah, can yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah, we can agree. But it, yes, it wouldn't make sense in their eyes to keep track. They would have to hire a whole other team to keep track of those type of players that's going through that too, as well. That I think that's part of the reason why they haven't done it yet. Because they already got two K support, but even two K support don't work right sometimes. All right, so Pete, right? Um, here's my here's my thing, right? Uh, it's 2024. Everything's on the cloud now, right? So all of your builds, all of your data, all that stuff is on the cloud. You know what I'm saying? It's getting uploaded to the 2K server every single time you connect to the internet. You know what I'm saying? It's it's to a point where you can't even play, like on my career without an online account because it'll tell you that if you proceed without internet, it's going to turn it into an offline player. You see what I'm saying? So, like, literally, if you, if me and you both, Dub, both create a build, and I say, yo, Dub, I'm grinding this build, bro. I'm trying to get this joint to 92 by the end of the week. And by the end of the week, I get my joint to 92. And you've been bullshitting, Dub. You ain't touched that build at all. You was like, man, nah, that nigga iPod, he just a, he a demon. He a, he a machine. I don't know how he did that. And then when something get patched, 
and my build is now not viable because they've decided that they want to rework something or tune something for their game to make the entire overall experience enjoyable for others, then the people who suffer that put time and money into that build should get a comp package. It's not that hard. You literally look up the build name, the the attributes or whatever the case may be, or whatever badge you might have tuned or worked or whatever the case may be, whatever animation you might have pulled out. You look and see whoever got that, and you comp them. It's that's it's super easy, bro. Go in, I'm saying all people with like let's say for instance, um, let's say for instance, LeBron John got pulled out, but after the game came out, not like right now, right? Yo, everybody got that bought LeBron. Yeah, yeah it was only two hundred fifty VC or whatever. Gave you. Yo, comp us twenty five thousand because we built our player around that build and around that move. That move is viable for us to to chain other moves together. Yo, comp. Come everybody that got that move 25k. So you saying it's Rick, super so easy saying to do Rick, that. So what you saying is refund the consumers that made a certain build, but it got patched through their failure of production of the game. Exactly. Because remember, everybody's gonna fine tune shit, right? Every every game is gonna have their servers go down. Every game is gonna have maintenance time. Every game servers, they might fuck around. Sony might fuck up the servers. You know what I'm saying? But it's up to 2K on what they're going to do with their consumer base. Are they going to be transparent? Are they going to comp them? Or are they just going to let shit fall through the wayside? That's that's what it comes down to. Like I told you, I play a game right now, bro, that I swear on everything I love. Anytime anything wrong happens, and it's the actual, like, now we call them Scopely, right? So, like, you know, you know how everybody, but man, damn 2K. We be like, damn Scopely. That's what we say because they're the publisher and all of that and development team of that game. Anytime they do something wrong or they change something or they change a way an officer abilities work or whatever the case may be in PvP or PvE, they comp the entire community. Man, look, look whatever Paul, level, I'm not whatever, even finna, I'm not even trying to cut you off like that, but I just want to reiterate uh-huh. what you're saying. I'm telling you right now, I don't even play my team like that. I mean, I like my team, this, that, and the third, cool. But they had a situation this year where they said, I, I'm sure all of y'all did have seen it just from, you know, being around 2K. But Kobe was supposed to be the collector level award. We get it, you know, the such situation that was going on, Vanessa, the rights, this, that, and the third. But they compensated them in a way where it wasn't beneficial to what they were actually giving them. On the flip side, EA is just as money hungry as 2K. We get it. But if I hop on Madden right now, I'm playing Madden right now. The store is pulled up in the marketplace. If it's a pack that looks like it's supposed to be showing something else and I go and get it, but it doesn't give me what it's telling me that I'm supposed to get, I'm getting make rights. They're either going to give me those packs back. They're going to give us the players. Like Those type of things don't get implemented in 2K, though. You know Can what? You, tell you me? know what's a perfect perfect example of what you all are talking about? Just off what the the um what the highest well what even what we're talking about right now, the bump steals. I imagine putting ninety nine ball handle ball control on your player to combat those bump steals, those bump steals, and they they patch bump steals. We need to get comp for that. That's basically what we're saying. Facts. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Pod made a build at some point in time in his cycle as being a content creator that was not, you know, fixated on the exploit, but it was something that was geared towards something in that game. The same way they just made all these videos today about this 5'9 guard build, and literally five minutes after the embargo, Zach Timmerman tweets that it's been tuned. Like, how how can you patch something we haven't even touched yet? So if I go in here and make this build, and then you say after week one, well, we're patching Legend Shifty Shooter or Legend Limitless, and I made a 99. You know, I find I said earlier about, he said, and I, this is why I think it's important for these spaces to be heard by many people, because he said something very powerful that I've I, I just been jotting it in my head, that the fact that they have those guys out there like the community day people that build it, they play on as playtest data. They look through the playtest data, and that's kind of like the whole reason on why they do that. The, 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 
I don't know if y'all listened to what he said when he said that earlier, but it made perfect sense. And that's probably why they already had passed it after that day when they saw people exploiting it. Like, that's the whole Facts. purpose of not having... But even then, like, I get what you're saying, but even then, that's not really an exploit because it's just part of the system. My problem is with that, even if... Forget the file nine, but if there's a bill that's, you know, not overpowered, so to speak, but there's something in the game where it gets a badge that most bills can't get, and that badge itself is overpowered. But then they nerf that badge. My build is the, that build is none is null and void now. It doesn't even matter. But you're not gonna compensate me back for that that 300k I just put into that view. They're not gonna get that back to me. So at the end of the day, <laughs> it's it's just like last year. So if you had so many OP locks that okay, well, Rice the Ripper is doing this and third, I can remember vividly. Brother Jones and iPod coming out with a live bill and, and glorifying how Hall of Fame Ripper, Right Stick Ripper, was going to be the, the badge that was going to create the most chaos. And it did. But then they nerfed it. Well, Yo. I mean, that was the space. Y'all follow up. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.